Computer Tech Tutorials. Today what I'm going to show you how to do is do steps uh, 7, uh, excuse me, 6 through 8. So we're going to add a subtitle below your newspaper name. It's going to have uh, a web address, uh, who gets your newspaper, the date of your story, and the price. Then we're going to put a special border around that to separate it from the rest of the things. Then we're going to add the uh, headline of your big story. So those steps 6 through 8. So here's how we do it. So here's what we did last time. And so we've got to add uh, a few things. First thing is we're going to put the web address. So I'm just going to type in worldtimes.com. You just make it up. Whatever you want your uh, newspaper, um, whatever you want it to to be called, whatever web page social media. Remember, you're just making this up. This is your little world, and, and you're creating your own newspaper to, uh, to make it your own. Now, what I did next is I pressed tab. I don't use the space key. I use tab. It's a lot easier to just press tab because it moves over five spaces for you. And then inside of quotes, we're going to type in who gets your newspaper. So I'm going to put in serving the world and then how often. So I'm going to go ahead and put daily. So then my newspaper comes out daily. I'm going to press tab again. I'm going to put the date. So I'm going to put in Monday, uh, let's say June 15th. And you can make whatever date you want. If your story comes out uh, in the past, like maybe you're doing Titanic sinks or something like that. You can put a date in the past. If you want to use today's date or a future date, it's up to you. This is your own newspaper, your own creation. So I'm just going to go ahead and put 2013. Tab a few more times over. Then I'm going to put my price. And I'm going to make my newspaper cost 350 Now the next thing you want to do is you want to center it. There we go. Now, you can space things out a little bit more if you want or increase your font size. I'm going to see what it looks like if I tab things out with one more tab. I think that looks pretty good. So I've got two tabs separating each part. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to put my cursor anywhere in the line. And I'm going to make sure I'm on my Home tab. Go over here to my Paragraph section. Go down to Borders and Shading. I'm going to go to the Borders tab again. And I'm going to use the same type of border I did before, but this time I'm going to use this preview box. Now if I press OK now, it puts a box around everything like that. I really don't want that, so let's undo that. Control Z. And this time I'm just going to highlight just this. This time it's, it's going to put a border just around the things that I selected. So again, I'm going to go here to Borders and Shading, select Box, but I'm going to do one more thing. Instead of having it all the way around everything, I'm going to take off the top and the sides. I'm going to take those off and only put it on the bottom. Okay, So that's what I want to do is only have it around the bottom of this. So um, makes it a little nicer to do if you do it in that particular style instead of putting it all the way around. Now, um, you can also use the horizontal line and put a line underneath it. There's lots of different ways to do it. So again, I go here, borders and shading. I'll select my uh, my border I want. Then you get the preview, and then you can take off these other boxes and press OK. It does go a little bit further, but that's OK. It'll go a little further than the other ones. It'll still work out pretty good. So we go to our third line. Now we're going to put in the uh, the headline, the big story that's going to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and just put uh, boy loses let's put this, boy attacked by fish. Oh, nice. That'd be a scary story. So we're going to highlight this. We'll center it. Make it bigger. We have to use a certain font, though. We have to use Impact. So if I press I, it'll take me all right to Impact. And then I'm just going to increase that until it gets as big as possible to fit on one line. But you notice my size is 48. I go up to 72. It doesn't fit. But there's sizes between 48 and 72. So if you highlight the 72 and you type in 60, that'll work. How about 65? That'll work. How about 68? Nope. Anybody see 66? Nope. 
So it looks like 65 is the largest we can get to fit on one line. And that's it. So thanks for watching and be ready for the next step.